I've had many fellow VTubers ask me on how do they set up their OBS for VTubing. And honestly, there is tons of different ways you can set up your OBS for VTubing, but I will give you my suggestion on how I do it. This is going to be a super quick OBS setup guide, so make sure you watch until the end to get all the information that you require. My name is Anubis Lives, and I am your VTuber Senpai, and I upload here on this YouTube channel every Wednesday, 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I cover anything, everything VTubing and soon to be VR related. So if you need any kind of VTubing help, chances are I have the answers you require. So if you like today's video, make sure you smash that like button because it does actually help the video out quite a bit. And well, consider subscribing if you like the content that I produce on this channel. I also stream on Twitch every Monday, Wednesday, Friday evening. So if you want to come on by, talk about VTubing, gaming, anime, whatever, I would love to see you there. All right, let's get into the video. If you haven't done so already, make sure you go download OBS from OBS's website. I'll actually have a link to the download in the description below. But once you've downloaded it and ran the installer, we'll proceed to the next step. So you done? Did you install it? Can we, can we, can we continue now? Okay, good. Let's continue. Okie dokie, so now that our OBS is installed, and we have it open. What our OBS is going to be looking like is actually kind of blank. There's nothing going to be anything under scenes or sources. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a new scene to our OBS. We're going to click on the little plus sign on the bottom left hand side. We're going to call it, I don't know, streaming. Once that scene is made, we're OK to add a source. So we're going to add our game. Then we're going to add our VTubing model. So for our game, you got to make sure you have it running in the background. Click on the little plus sign under sources. Go to game capture. Let's just call it, I don't know, Stream Avatars 2. Click OK. Click on Mode. Capture Specific Window. Window. We're going to select Streaming Avatars. Awesome. It shows up. We're A-OK. -okay. Now we're going to add our model. Right now, for this example, our model is going to be running in Luppet. This is going to work for any and all VTubing pieces of software. So we're going to click on the little plus sign again under Sources. We're going to go to game capture again. We're going to call it Luppet 2 because we already have a Luppet. We're going to click OK. We're going to go back to mode, capture specific window, window. We're going to scroll down until we see Luppet. We're going to click it. We're going to click allow transparency. Now we're not going to need that for Luppet, but that's OK. We're going to click OK. There we are. But as you see, we have a green screen. So what we're going to do is we're going to lock these guys down. We're going to right click on Luppet. We're going to go to filters. Now that we have filters open, we're going to click on the little plus under effect filters. We're going to add chroma key. We're going to click OK and the chroma key will apply what it needs right away. We're going to click close. We're going to unlock this. We're going to move it to where we want it. And then there we go. But if you think we are done, we are not done quite yet. We got a little bit to go. I'm going to show you some examples on what happens if you don't set up your OBS correctly. So, for example, if you have your Luppet underneath your game, you won't see your avatar. Your avatar will disappear. So you got to make sure that you have under your sources your Luppet or whatever VTubing program you use above the game. So your avatar actually does show. Now you're probably wondering about what about my host and cheers? Where do I place that under my sources? Okay, so say we added our browser source, which is AKA our overlay. If you don't know how to do that really quick, what you got to do is just click the little plus sign, add browser, and then you're going to name it whatever you need to. And you're going to put the URL into this little area. But for your overlay, where you want it is basically dealer's choice at this point. You could have it above your avatar or below it. Now, the difference is, for example, above, we run a little emulation. You see that it is, it's in front of our avatar. But if we move up below, you'll see that it's actually gonna be behind our avatar and out of the way. Now, what you decide is totally up to you, but preferably I would have it either in front of your avatar or have your little alert somewhere out of the way so it doesn't block anything of an importance. And now you know how to set up your VTuber model for streaming in OBS and Streamlabs OBS. Again, my name is Anubis Lives. I stream on Twitch every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Come on by, say hi. I'd love to see you there. And well, I'll catch you in the next one.
Bye.